All right, y'all, welcome back to the Vestal Brie. This is going to be a um, channel message and tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, okay? All righty, you did my prayers. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. This is going to be for your situation, okay? What could be going on with you or what you need to know um, from, what is it, Sunday to Sunday. So what is that? The 17th to, or I'm sorry, yeah, the 17th to the 24th, okay? Or the 17th to the 23rd, all right? So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. See here, you're going to be <clears throat> revealing your identity. Or I'm hearing if anybody is dealing with identity death, that will be revealed to you. You're holding your mask, your facade, but you're not covering yourself. You're just holding it right next to you just in case you need it. You use your facade as a protection purpose for entry. So kind of like when you first meet people, you may have a deceptive feel, but you're not necessarily deceiving. Is a mask of protection until feeling secure enough to reveal your full light and majestic power and identity. You understand your wings are gold, but you also understand it is a privilege for everyone to see you spread your wings. Even more privilege for them to see you fly, right? You're very connected with the universe. Whether it's known or not, because I see you looking straight forward, But you have to have some sense of knowing how connected, how deeply powerful and universal and dimensional and consistent, angelic, majestic that you are because you feel the beauty around you. Your aura is very, very bright, almost cleansing. You're very subtle. You're very... You're not easily swayed, but you're kind of like a sway in the wind. You're very chill, calm. You know how to tame the intensity of your power. Maybe you feel you have to put that facade or that mask on because it may blind. It may be blinding at times. But that doesn't mean that it is fair for you to dim your light to make others feel comfortable. And whatever they're operating in, in their light. Because you're very beautiful in what you have, the powers you have, what you create, your talents are needed for not only this world, but for different dimensions. You've unlocked the different codes within the world. I'm hearing you've mastered the law of attraction. And I've done a lot more that you may not understand. You understand how light, how light and powerful it is or you are. But an understanding of how universal you are.
Not only have you mastered feel all the traction, you've mastered control of thyself and not others, which makes you a source to be reckoned with, considering the source that you are made up of. And have that knowing it's different when you're extremely powerful and, and maybe you haven't loaded to that level of understanding your power, power yet. You're at this place where you understand so deeply that you put on this crown. Or, yeah, you put on this crown as well. You know that you are royalty, emperor, empress. But it's more so hierophant, high priest, magician. Be assertive. Stop hiding your light. The world needs you. You may feel it's not the right time. But I see you here on top of the world with all your power. You're very intuitive. All your universal codes and knowledge. Legacy. standing on top of the world with the ability to provide wealth in all different areas, not just profits. But you, under you understand just exactly that sentence within itself on a deeper level. But why is it not the right time to come here and save the world? Not the right time. Be assertive, reveal your light. That's why you're holding the mask right here. Because just in case I need it, just in case it's not the right time, I'll cover it again. But you are of the world. You are of the universe. You've already unlocked the code. You can't unsee once you see. Your natural abilities. You are abundant. You could work with children, or you could have a huge effect on children, specifically their chromosomes, their DNA, their brain cells. You could work with children in that aspect, all right? I feel You're not a fish out of water. Your bowl's just getting clean. And then you'll be placed back in fresher water. New abundance, new wealth, new codes. I'm hearing like you're walking down the hallway of heavenly colors. You're walking down memory lane. That could be why you feel it's not the right time, but you're already on top of the world. You already have touched. Um, you've already tapped into your legacy. You've already tapped into that dimension. You've already been given the, the pixie dust, the powder. So here's your offering. It's like um, you're a person who helps people help people help more people. Maybe you didn't have the offering, the finances. Maybe you didn't feel like you had the ability. Maybe you didn't feel like, you know, you had the strength. Maybe you felt like your majestic quality in nature was meant to be hidden. Maybe you want people to discover you instead of you revealing yourself to them. Hmm. But I think you quickly found out that you are the discoverer. You are the
you jump into the water and discover the bottom of the ocean and, and get all the discoveries, you could be a scientist, researcher. You're a deep diver. You do that and you come back up and you bring what you expose to your teacher while being a student all at the same time. And it works for you. Maybe you hid your light because you were tired of being self-taught. But you're not. You have your guides. You have your ancestors. I'm hearing sisters. You could have sisters as well that are helping you. You could have a spirit baby. But it's not the right time for that baby to be born yet. That's for someone very specific. Yeah, trust if you if you had any issues with pregnancy at any time. I'm getting a spirit baby is here and you communicate. They give you messages. Right, but it's not the right time for them to come down now. But trust God, trust the universe, okay? For others of you. You're a soul child. If you're a masculine, you're really a gentle man. You're also a stress reliever. You understand how the universe, how God, how source, Jesus, different ascendant masters are your peace or who you can trust in. If not already, you are in the heavenly place. Your life is coming 360, not physically, spiritually, in every single way. Your DNA is all here in eternalized, eternalized. Your DNA is becoming, is becoming richer. I'm hearing corresponding. Trust the abundance that's coming towards you. Trust your abundant, spiritual, beautiful nature. Trust the differences. Trust that you are different. But trust that that different is gold. That, that different is bringing you gold. It's bringing you recovery. T-H-O-T-H, -H, Thoth. That's e Egyptian ancient royalty. Right, because after this recovery, after you finish healing, or I'm hearing after you finish, maybe the knowledge you're receiving from source or the universe, the universe is requiring you to have to heal from the knowledge that you are receiving. But not only is it requiring you to continue recovering, it's requiring you to expand not only physically your foundation, but it's requiring you to expand your knowledge and your human nature while deepening your spiritual existence. You're being educated and purified at the same time so that when you reveal yourself or like you are, you're revealing yourself and healing all at the same time, okay? You could have a lot going on, right? Going to work, you know, figuring out spiritually which lane, you know, magician-wise, you know, you know, you have everything that you need, you know, understand your power, but which lane do you put that in? All right, is it the right time to even reveal to the world who you are? Yes, we've been waiting for you. And it looks like you have arrived. So continue your recovery because these big happy changes Are coming into your life. Liz. Someone's name could be Liz. You could have orange, brunettes, blonde, long hair. If your name is, I'm getting your story. If your name is Liz, or it doesn't even have to be um, the name Liz, but I'm picking up that as your name. 
your story and and others who are who are listening is going to be um something kind of like a mixture between the Cinderella and Moana story, the little kid Cinderella story. All right, and the Moana story mixed together. You have a dark and a light side that is very balanced about you. Libra energy, you could have that in your chart. Sagittarius energy, temperance, you could also have that in your chart. You are a spiritual alchemist. Whether you realize it or not, but you may not be listening to your intuition or trusting your gifts. That word eternalized is coming up again. But it's not eternal, it's internalized. You're ready. Your journey's been there. Look at your kingdom behind you. Yes, you're ready. Trust God, trust the universe. Trust yourself. This is your time. If you are looking into ancient Egyptian cultures, yes, that is correct. Yes, that will be very successful for you. That is the right route. You are opening up your lineage. You are discovering more of your wings and yourself. Isis energy. That could be specifically who you're looking up. Hathor goddess. Specifically Segment, you know, um, Pharaoh. It's creating balance in your life. You're compromising. But I'm hearing your religion, your religistic logistics is what you're compromising. But it's because you're ready to do this after coming out of a place where you were abundant. You were still wealthy. You were still connected to the world. But it's almost like you were underwater. Or like, and like, um, I want to say like Atlantis as well. But it's like you were in a different world. Now you're going to be pushed to a new world. you weren't drowning underwater you were happy there you were living there it was unknown or announced to you there was something above the water or above the real like that that moana story where she was talking about how there's more fish there's more fish past this there's more fish past this she was never told the stories of what happens if you pass the unknown, the place that you should never have passed? So it looks like for you, you're going to rise and find your kingdom. Or you're going to take the kingdom that you built with what you did know, gain more information, you're in logistics, cultures, you're, you're doing a lot, mathematics, you're, you're a math magician, you're very intelligent. Once you continue gaining more of this information, trust the information, trust your intuition, trust the gifts, continue recovering from the world you were in compared to the world you are being guided to receive in open arms. You're going to take what you built and you're going to replenish it and continue building with the same knowledge but no longer a certain amount of ignorance when it comes to different portals I'm hearing or dimensions you're going to evolve in this new world and take what you built underwater and bring it afloat. Matter of fact, you're going to suck the water dry. Now I'm seeing the deep sea being split. You're going to walk through the ocean just because it's being split for you. And angels are pouring in. You may think it's not likely, it may be hard for you to let go of past beliefs or ways of thinking. Yeah, desert escape, you may feel like, you know,
it may feel like it's an escape for you, but it's also like you made a home in that desert. You made a home where you were at. But now you're in a place where you understand you are more so a result of your ancestors. You are more so another piece of this universal world. You're more so having a human experience of nature. And it's giving you not really a spiritual awakening because these are things that you, you know, right? But more so awakening to the fact that you are awakening. More so accepting that yes, this is you and this is our beautiful universe. Right, so that is your reading for today. Y'all, I know you see my nose glitch and peeking out to say hello. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, share, and live your beautiful life. You are extremely powerful. Don't dim your light for nobody. We need you. Peace.